How do everybody? I am Nipuna Niyovir Tunga and in this tutorial I will be explaining the stack register a brief overview of its use and functionality. Uh, before I begin I will be assuming that you have a basic knowledge about the MIPS instructions mainly add, add i, load word, store word, jump, jump and link and branch not equal. Also uh, I will assume you, you are able to convert C and C++ code into its assembly counterpart. Okay, uh, first we'll have a brief introduction about the stack register. There are 32 integer registers in the MIPS architecture. Uh, this is the register naming convention. The registers that are marked in red, which is 0, 1, 26, 27, are generally reserved registers, which means that you cannot change the value in these registers. Uh, the register 31, RA, is actually a very important register when we are dealing with the stack pointer. Uh, the registers A0 to A3 are used to uh, pass arguments into a function. Uh, the registers S0 to S7 are used uh, to save values across functions. Uh, registers V0, V1 are used to return values and results. The temporary registers T0 to T7 and T8 and T9 are the ones that are actually available uh, to uh, store temporary values. So what if the callee wants to use more than the allocated amount of registers? For this purpose you can use the stack register uh, 20, which is register number 29 which grows from the high address to the low address. I will be uh, explaining this in a minute. Uh, to add data into the register or to push data into the stack uh, we use this instruction. Also uh, to uh, remove data from the stack, to pop data from the stack, we use this instruction. The stack grows from the high address to the low address. You will better understand this when we move uh, to the example in this, uh, in this tutorial. The stack can be considered as a virtual array where values can be stored and recovered when needed. The part of the stack containing a procedure save registers and local variables is its procedure frame. The frame pointer points to the first word of the frame of a procedure, providing a stable base register for the procedure. Frame pointer is initialized using the stack pointer on a call and stack pointer is restored using frame pointer on a return. What this basically says is this part of the stack contains the procedures saved registers and local variables. So if the stack starts from here, as I said before, uh, the stack grows from the high address to the low address. So if the stack starts from here, it should be uh, it should be pushing data from top to bottom and it should be popping data from bottom to top. So uh, if the, when the procedure starts, if the stack pointer is in the, at this position, once the procedure is over, the stack pointer sh should be uh, returned, should be, uh, it should be restored to this position. Uh, you will uh, better understand this when we move uh, to the example. Okay, uh, now for the example. Uh, remember, the one important thing that you should know is that the return address, the value stored in RA, is crucial when executing functions that utilize the stack pointer. After executing a function, the return value may be used in the next part of the program or it will move on to another function. Uh, this is an example of a recursive procedure. Uh, in this function, uh, the, the factorial of a number is computed. Uh, this function fact with the argument n. If n is less than 1, it, it should return 1 else it should return n times uh, the value of the value of function fact n with the argument n minus 1. Uh, you, you can see that this function calls itself. Uh, that is why we call it a recursive procedure. Uh, this is the translation of that C code into uh, assembly. And I will be going over each of these uh, instructions uh, during this example. So assume A0 equals 2. So that means we need to calculate the, uh, the factorial of 2. Uh, as you can see, I mean when we are starting this uh, 
this procedures the stack pointer is at this position so what this means is that at the end of this procedure the stack pointer should be returned it should be restored to this position this is uh, this is a representation of compiling a recursive procedure uh, you can see like the first invocation of fact calls uh, with the argument for and it it uh, it goes to the address uh, stored in this register which is the caller which in turn calls fact again with uh, a0 minus 1 which is 3 so uh, it this fact should be called until a0 reaches 0 and uh, then it should multiply each of those numbers which would give the factorial of uh, the number which we need but this instruction does it it creates room in the stack uh, here uh, the value of at, at this register at the register ra is stored in this address uh, so ra is uh, the the address of caller return address is uh, stored in this address and the value of a0 which is 2 is uh, is stored in this address so the stack pointer is now here uh, here it uh, com it, com it uh, tests whether a0 is less than 1 a0 is 2 so a0 is not less than 1 thus t0 equals 0 and t0 equals 0 so this branch is taken which is l1 here l1 uh, the a the value of a0 is decremented by 1 you can see a0 was 2 here now it's 1 and this jump and link instruction calls the function fact again with the new argument uh, a0 equals 1 uh, here the uh, before the uh, the value at ra was the call return address but since we are using the jump and link instruction the new uh, value at uh, ra is the uh, address of the label bk underscore f ok now a0 equals 1 here this instruction again creates room in the stack uh, it now stores the new value of ra in this instruction in, in this uh, address which is the address of bk underscore f it stores the new value of a0 in this address which is 1 again it compares whether a0 is less than 1 a0 is 1 so uh, t0 equals 0 again uh, this uh, branch is taken and a0 which is 1 is decremented by 1 now a0 is 0 1 minus 1 and again this instruction which is jump and link calls the function fact with the new argument a0 equals 0 uh, again uh, return address the value at ra is the address of bk underscore f again this instruction creates room in the stack uh, it stores the new uh, value of ra in uh, this address which is still the address of bk underscore f and it stores the new value of a0 in this address which is 0 uh, now a0 is is 1 so a0 is less than 1 so t0 equals 1 so uh, t0 does not equal to 0 so this branch is not taken uh, v0 is 0 plus 1 which is 1 uh, the stack is increased here and uh, it uh, the jump and the jump to register uh, instruction goes to the address which is located uh, in this register which is still bk underscore f uh, here uh, the the value at this address uh, is loaded into uh, is the register a0 so a0 is 1 uh, the value at this address is loaded into ra so ra is still be the address of bk underscore f and uh, again the stack pointer is increased uh, uh, with the value of v0 is now uh, 
calculated as a0 times v0 v0 was 1 from before and a0 is now 1 so v0 equals 1 times 1 uh, this jump and uh, jump to register instruction uh, again uh, goes to the address which is located in the RA register which is the address of BK underscore F okay again uh, then the uh, value stored in this address is loaded into a0 which is 2 the value stored in uh, this address is loaded into RA which is the caller return address uh, the stack pointer is increased uh, as you remember we start when we started the procedure the stack pointer uh, was uh, at this position so since the now the procedure is ending we have restored the uh, stack pointer to this point and uh, v0 is a0 times v0 v0 from before was 1 times 1 now the new a0 is 2 so uh, the new v0 is 2 times 1 times 1 which is 2 so uh, the factorial of 2 is 2 uh, and uh, this jump to register uh, instruction uh, this instruction jump makes the program jump uh, to the address which is located at the register RA which is the caller return address which is what we want at the end of the procedure okay in conclusion the stack acts like a virtual array which stores arguments when registers would not suffice if the, uh, amount, if the number of available registers is not enough you can utilize the stack the stack is an efficient tool when dealing with functions especially recursive functions as uh, I explained using the factorial function remember the value stored in RA is crucial when dealing with the stack uh, this is perhaps the most important point you should take out of this uh, this, uh, this tutorial uh, not all programs need the use of the stack pointer if the available amount of uh, registers is enough for the program you may not need to use the stack pointer uh, that concludes the tutorial thanks and gigabyte